As cranes go up and new buildings come together, it's starting to make a difference. In the first three months of this year, construction began on more than 2,100 new homes across the province. The last record was just over 1,300 in the first quarter of 1973. What we are seeing right now is a response to the explosive population growth that we have seen uh, in Nova Scotia and generally in the Atlantic region. Doro says with this growing population and one of the lowest vacancy rates in the country, ramping up residential construction is crucial to meeting the demand. He says most of the housing construction is apartments, with single-family homes lagging behind, often due to their prices. Well, there's just a shift uh, from single-family building just because uh, affordability right now is a big concern. Uh, we saw sales drop for single-family homes in the last two years. The construction is concentrated in Halifax, but Doro says Bridgewater and Truro are also seeing an increase. He says if this pace keeps up, around 8,500 new units will be started this year. Industry players say it's too early to know for sure if this will continue, but it's a good sign. It's a culmination of changes to our way that we train people, the recruitment efforts we have, changes in permitting processes. Uh, changes in terms of funding from government to help stimulate some of the housing starts. William says these changes have been a long time coming, but he's now seeing all levels of government work together to tackle the issue. Incentives like the removal of federal and provincial HST on multi-unit housing construction may be helping, but he wants to see more. We don't always need new programs that have to be staffed up, ramped up, tested, corrected. Uh, what we need is scale back some of the costs that are associated with this. William says labor and supply shortages and higher interest rates are still holding some developers back, and he wants to see that change. Nicholas Sagan, CBC News, Halifax.